Hello, welcome back. Last time I played with some snakes for a while, and did some other stuff too, I guess. Uh, so I think I'm coming up on the end of this hold soonish. I don't think I'll be finishing it today. I've been warned that there's a particularly nasty room in Post Mastery. But there are only a few um, regular rooms left. Can't go north from there, probably. Oh, hey, I see. That's suspicious. Oh, a seep room. Well, this is going to be awkward. So I would guess that I want to carve myself a safe space like this. Uh, well, not exactly like that. Um, let's see, is there some way I can do... Not quite. Okay, so if that happens... No. Okay, so weird little seep challenge. Let's see. Well, there's only one move I can make from here, and actually, no matter what I do, I'm dead, unless I walk out of the room. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this... Uh, no? Let's see. This is almost something. Let's see, this is no better than what I had before. Yes, it is, because I can do this. Okay. That might be progress of some sort, almost. Not quite, though. This doesn't seem like it works. Because, oh wait, if I have this much room, then I do have a safe place to stand here. Uh, okay. But even so, I'm still dead at this point. Um... Hmm, interesting. So if, does it make any difference if I do this instead of the other thing? Maybe. Um, oh. No, this is just as bad or worse. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm, I'm kind of sort of getting somewhere. Let's see. I'm trying to think of how I can take advantage of asymmetry here somehow. Okay, so I can't leave you alive, probably. I think I do have to kill this. Well, okay, so... Hmm. No, this is just not going anywhere good, is it? So I'm in this situation again. Okay, so... Um, carving out this space... Oh wait, no, not like that. Okay, how did I do what I did? I did this. And that was helpful. Hmm. don't have a lot of options at this point. It's, this seems like a good idea. What if I pull one seep out of there? Well, that doesn't work. Hmm. This is weird. Kind of heavy on the trial and error. Yeah, this always just leads to the same pattern. I can't, can't have that kind of thing happening. Just, it's just this no matter what I do. Okay, so where do I get another choice about what I can do here? I can't go anywhere else from here, really. If I went down there, that's different, but not better. Yeah, no, that's much worse. Hmm. My options are pretty limited. If I stay in this row and go down here, that that happens. That's not what I want. But if I do this, it just leads to the same thing I've already tried. 
Yeah, so I end up with those those square formations and that's no good. Okay, so what else can I do? Somehow this was different from this because that gets to me earlier. Yeah, they start in a... I mean, I could wait a turn. That doesn't sound good. Don't think I want to wait a turn. Ugh. It just doesn't feel like I have much choice in what I do here. Whatever I do just leads to the same situation. And it doesn't feel like there's a way out of it. Like, I can't wait here. I have to have to move. I can kill two seeps. And then I'm just stuck here. Can't go anywhere at all. So if I could kill one more somehow during this process. So let's try some different stuff. That's no good. That will never work. This is kind of safe for a moment, but then it just leads to a terrible situation here where I can't do anything at all. Yeah, best I've been able to do is this, but there are more cracked walls, all up in here, secret walls, all over here. So it feels like I should be able to go somewhere from where I am now. But I don't see how I could. Doing that just removes my ability to step into that wall. Hmm. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing, nothing works. Okay, so I need to exhaustively figure out where I have a choice. If I wait, if I wait, I get stuck like this. I can do that, but then this goes nowhere at all. There's, there's nothing useful I can do from here. Okay, so if I don't wait, I go here and then I wait. Doesn't make a difference. It's the same situation. So if I stab here. I don't have a lot of options. I can go there and accomplish nothing. So if I go here, right, if I turn and stab, then I just that, that just leads to my death, right? Or the same situation. Okay, so if I turn and stab, then that's the same situation. Okay, so the best is definitely doing... The, no, I can't do that. That's not, not available. So that cars me out the maximum amount of vertical space there. I can't really leave stuff like this and go someplace else at all. Like, I have to do that. Okay. So I have no choices up until this point. If I go down here... ...and start doing this stuff... ...that's not different. It's the same. This is the only way I can make any headway here. Ah, this is frustrating. I'm just doing the same things and it's not it's not helping wait hold on is there any way I can no I can't kill this without disrupting other stuff can I do it earlier no hmm I don't get any choices here Go down the I, I wish I could make this this thing move. But I can't. I can do that, but that just leads to that square formation again. I I can't I cannot kill this seep without breaking that wall. That's what I'd like to be able to do, because I'd like to come down here and kill that. There's nothing I can possibly do there without dying. All right, so if I leave these in that formation, does that help anything? Maybe. That's different. Uh, it looks... Oh, wait! Here we go. I did something. Okay. So exhaustive exploration is paying off. There we go. I think I can solve it from here. Wait, that was hard. Okay. Ugh. That took me way too long. Alright, let's do another room. Fagundo. Evil eyes. So clear... Uh, don't clear that off. Okay, two Fagundos. 
One of them is going to explode immediately. What's the catch here? This looks trivial. Oh, you need to stay ashes. Okay, so I need to... Okay, so this is just keep Fagundos out of phase with each other. One has to always be in ash form. Okay. That doesn't sound hard. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Very simple. Oops. Cool. Okay. And is this the last regular room? It might be. No, there's a blank space here. Why is there a blank space there? Probably for a secret, I would guess. Accessed from where, though? I guess there are a lot of possibilities. Hmm. I'm gonna have to check that. Okay, so place a Mimic in the middle. Two Mimics, maybe. Looks as though I would love to get it into this spot. That sounds... well, okay. Um, not going to be able to do that so nicely, though. Well, okay, so I can do this, and this, and this, if I want to. And I could do this if I wanted to. Okay. Uh, so that's not quite good enough, though. Because I'm going to have one alive and unreachable if I do that. Okay, so what if I place a mimic here? And have him stab... Have him stab what exactly? Hmm. That works. There we go. Just kind of did it, didn't think too hard, and it worked. Neat! Exit level. Alright, so I'm missing it. Ah, I see it. Now, how's that going to come out? That, that doesn't work as an exit. So there'll have to be an alternate exit for this secret. Somewhere, somehow. Hmm. Oh, a, a, a warp. I see. Alright, so another one of these disarm trapdoor thingies. Okay. <laughs> it's already annoying. There we go. All right, so I want to be disarmed here. Okay, no, I want to be armed, but I want to disarm as I step there. Okay, right. Now, how did this work? I can just pretty much drop, like, all of these trivially. Now, how was this? There was a way to, um... Right. That's easy enough. Um, however, there we go. Just have to make that. Uh, yeah, this is this is the same as a puzzle I did already. Maybe there's something additionally tricky to this. Hmm. Because yeah, this doesn't seem like a problem to me. I'm not doing it the most efficient way, but... Yeah. So what? Okay, so... I do land in funny situations like that, but again, it doesn't... Oh, wait, this is no good. So I can't have that happen. I do absolutely need to drop this. Ah. Okay, so that corner is tough. Okay, that's better. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay, so... I'm having some problems. That helped. Hmm. Okay, so... This does feel a little bit different than the, the last puzzle where I did this stuff. Okay, so the last little bit is weird. Um, hmm. There we go. Okay, that was fiddly. Doable, though. Okay, and this takes me here. Neat. All right, so that's all the rooms that I can reach, pretty much. So the master wall... It did not say hold mastered, so I'm guessing the master wall is still up until I walk down the stairs. This does say level 1. I guess I don't... I don't know for sure there isn't a level 2, but I, I, I don't think there is. Door is here. Master wall is still up. All right. Oh, wow. Nine hours. That's longer than I thought. Cool. Okay, I guess that's enough smiting, at least for a little while. Well done. I didn't get all the secrets. How didn't I get all the secrets? Oh, also, this is going to do something silly. Ah. All right. When was the last time I stepped on a checkpoint? I always forget to... Ah, how annoying. I guess here is fine. I guess I wish that after stepping down the hold end stairs, that the continue button would take me to one step before I step down the hold end stairs. That seems like it would be the most convenient, because every single time this, this situation comes up, it never takes me where I want it to take me. And I always forget that I need to step on a checkpoint before I do that, because that's just a weird, unusual situation. It doesn't come up very often, it's just like once per hold, at most. Okay, uh, Master Wall is still up. I'm missing some secrets. Now, there is the possibility that they're out here, but it seems a lot more likely that they're along this boundary somewhere. So, how will I go hunting for those? First, I'm just going to check for cracks here. See if there's any in obvious spaces. I keep seeing this spot with the orb and thinking I can walk through it, but I can't. Orbs are solid. Nothing there. Uh, that only leads over here as far as I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I know there's postmastery past there. If I have 90% secrets, how many are there? 9 out of 10. So I need to find one more before I can get into postmastery. Um... So I guess we'll do this for a bit. If I don't find anything in that area, then I'll have to check the other edges. There's just nothing there, no secrets leading that way. Wasn't as thorough as it could have been. Good enough, probably. A lot of these, I feel like, um, have had. Okay, no, there's not much room for. Okay, hmm. Uh, yeah, I feel like a lot of these have had uh, complicated secret walls, uh, passages leading to them from multiple rooms away. But checking the perimeter around 
the rooms themselves, if that is the only place where secrets would be. Seems reasonable. But at this point, I'm starting to suspect there's a secret outside the, the bounds of where, where it's um, established that there would be. Hey, that's interesting. Okay, so all past this, that's all secret wall. So I think that tells me that this right here is part of Postmastery. So I shouldn't bother trying to get into that room. I've looked here, there's nothing. And this, this is just, yeah, I can't go further south from there. Nothing hidden in here. Nothing hidden in there. Okay. All right, guess I'm going to have to check the entire outer perimeter and see if I see anything. I do see something right here in this seep room I was just working on. There's a, there's a crack there. So that's weird. What's up with that? Tell me about yourself. Secret wall. Just one solitary secret wall there, but nothing around it. That's pretty weird. Can't think of what purpose that might serve. There's nothing leading in there from anywhere else. Okay, so I guess that's just nothing. How strange. Hmm. All right. Well, if, if, if it doesn't lead to anything, it doesn't lead to anything. I'll keep checking the rest of this. Whoa, I just got a crazy idea here. What if this is the secret entrance? So I was looking at this and thinking about, what are what's a way I could get through an orb? Briars destroy them. Briars do grow over water, so I think I have to bring these briars all the way out there, have them destroy this orb, then get the Fagundo to prune them for me. That's gonna be pretty hard. Um, okay, so that closes that, which is fine. Let's see what that looks like. So here, Fagundo, you just sit there for a little while. Here's some briars. Alright, see, the problem is... I'm gonna have to kill the briar root here. It's gonna be pretty hard to keep this pruned. But actually, maybe, maybe that's not true. Maybe it'll be okay. Okay, orb is gone. Yeah, no, the problem is I need, oh boy. Okay, so this becomes a weird briar pruning puzzle. I definitely can't kill the briar root because that would involve keeping the Fagundo in here. Fagundo would fall in the water. So I'm gonna have to just, I think maybe if I park the Fagundo like, um, here-ish, that's probably gonna be good. So it'll cover some space. Explosions look weird when I do that. Yeah, Fagundo will keep covering this space. The briars from the north will grow in. Um, and yeah, I want to kind of be like... Ooh, that's... Oh boy, this is pretty tricky. There are no pits I can put next to the briar or anything. Orb is gone. Wow, how would I do this? Those are just gonna grow and kill the Fagundo. Okay, well this, this would seem to be the right idea though. It's just, how would I execute it? Okay, well this is, this is tough. Um, Theory. Let's say... So I'm going to do something similar here again. 
Um, maybe... Oops. Okay, well, there's nothing particularly wrong with... The, oh, that is perhaps important to this, though. Okay, so that gives me a control that I can use to change the way the briars grow. Alright, so I want Fagundo's Explosion to take out as many briars there as, as it can. Just slow that down. Manage those the best I can. Oops. Let's see. Ah, doing this and the Fagundo stuff at the same time is pretty hard. This seems good. Okay, this seems good. There we go, that's disconnected. So don't worry about the disconnected bit, just keep this from growing. And that'll mean it'll have some space to expand down here. So it can slow down. Okay, and this is about the last time I'm going to get to use that orb. Ooh boy. I need my Fagundo now-ish. Come to me, bird. Alright, so it has space to expand. Uh, this isn't going to work, is it? Uh, maybe? Feels pretty sketchy. And that's uh, unfortunate. Um, still maybe. Nope. Okay, well how would I... What? Wait, idea. Nah, not a good idea. There's, I can't, can't have Beethro stand on top of a door. That sure would be nice. There's nothing that closes that. I can, oh, wow. Hmm. Is it any better if I... Okay, so what if, what if I bring the Fagunda over here instead? North, south doesn't really make a difference. Like, they're both the same. Maybe I just need to prune a little more aggressively. Or something. I don't know. And that Fagundo's gonna die no matter what I do there if that happens. Okay. Man, this is just not going my way. Like, this this just seems ugh, really messy. So I definitely need to disconnect those briars for one thing. There we go, that helps. All right, now Beethro's gonna die unless the Fagundo saves him. Ugh. So I need one more growth before I cut that off entirely. It'll still... it should still get rid of the orb there, I think. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay, this works. I hope. There we go. Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> Man, what a secret entrance. I, I kept looking at this spot like I was seeing it on the map. There's a... there's a... there's, there's a way over there and it was... it was right. That was really clever. Okay, Seep and Briar. Oh, I see. As soon as I stab one of those, that happens. And I can't stab the rest of them. Oh, dear. Well, that's gonna make for an uncomfortable situation. So I guess that's about the way to do it. Okay. Uh, there's an exit down here. I probably would want to go west to east if, if I'm gonna do it that way. And I think that's about how I'm going to have to do it. Let's see. So... 
I think the same pattern should more or less work for all of these. Yeah, do this, do that, do that. Okay, that's the pattern. But I do need to maintain access. Yeah, okay, so the real puzzle here is maintaining access. Like, I'm about to lose ability to stab those. Who, boy, I might already be too late with this. I sure am, right? And those have all connected, so that's terrible. However, now that's changed their growth dynamics, so maybe that's not so terrible. Hmm. So actually connecting the briar can give me counterintuitively more time. However, that's that's never going to work. So what if instead of that I did this? That actually seems a lot better. Uh, can I make this work? Maybe. Weirdly, yes. It feels really strange to stand next to a briar root for that long and be safe. Okay, this looks pretty good. I think this is going to be a victory. Don't want to be this close to that patch of briar. I need to get out of here. This is going to kill me. Or the seat bar. Okay, so let's... Um, maybe this. Connect that as soon as possible. It's gonna grow again, but maybe that's okay. Yeah, there we go. Neat! Okay, that was cool. I like that. And I like the entry puzzle for it, too. Hold mastered! Yay! Alright. Um, I have been specifically warned about a room in Post Mastery, so I'm not going to push my luck and attempt to... Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done for the day anyway. Um, I will peek in and see what I'm up against. Because I am curious. There's quite a few rooms in there. I would like to know if they're all puzzles or if it's just, like, one or two. Alright, so that goes... Oh, it doesn't go all the way up there. I see. Okay, a bunch of roach queens and a gate for progress so I can't actually see the rest of this. Okay, and this is not the room that I was warned about. Neat. Ha! This is going to be cool. Uh, I like rooms like this, usually. Alright, uh, I'll see you next time for Postmastery.